All right guys, so I'm doing a quick little video on business cards. Uh, I've picked up a couple of really weird ones and kind of want to show them off. So this first one was made by a guy named Brian McAvoy. And uh, the neat thing about this one is that that guy knows a lot about electronics. So he made a working flashlight. rather small components and uh, had them printed out and sent them to an electronics manufacturer in China and this is what he got back. The second one is made by a guy named Not Pike. You can follow him. And uh, this is a 2.4 gigahertz antenna. Uh, and he's really into a, a RF and stuff like that. So it's got a little clover-shaped antenna in the back. Um, you know, you can do whatever you want with it. Uh, so next thing is a concept I made. And this is a chess set. Size of a business card. The little parts pop out. So you can see there. And, and it's, a full, it's a full chess set. There it is. Um, so that was uh, laser cut. Uh, the design I came up with pretty quickly. Uh, it took me about two hours for the for the rough draft. Um, that's one of the earlier versions. Kind of burnt out. Not great, but you know it'll do. Uh, this one was uh, from a guy I met at a comic convention, and he was dressed as Tony Stark, and he was. A drunk Tony Stark giving out his business cards. Um, so this next one is another one that I made, and I made this for uh, a local makerspace called Bridgewire. Same with the chess cards, and uh, I like to call this one, Yo Doug, I heard you like business cards. So I made a business card, so you can, if I can get these out. So you can business card while you business card, and then you put your business cards there. Just like the previous ones, this is laser cut, nothing too fancy, and uh, again this one's kind of the rough draft, it doesn't hold too well, but the version I did after this worked out pretty well. Um, these are a couple that I had printed out today. Same for the same place. It's a makerspace here in Reno. And uh, got a couple of these. Normal looking business cards, but they have uh, they have a protractor in the back, ruler in the front, and then the other design, very professional looking, and then on the back it's a little chart for resistors, so you can uh, you know figure out what the uh, it's the little color coding system, so you can figure out values or whatever. Great for electrical engineers. Uh, anyway, I think that's all of them. Thank you for watching. Follow me on the Twitter at I am Evil Victor. And that's that. Okay, what do you think, Kaylee? I don't like Dander. Okay, what should I say? You're... Follow me on the Twitters? Yeah, follow me on the Twitters. You sound like an old man. Uh, on the Twitter. Forgetting well, what are, that Twitter was popular back in your day. What are, what, what are kids using these days? Snapchat.
Snap Instagram. Well, I don't have Snapchat or Instagram. Well, you can still use Twitter and Facebook, my dude. Oh. But don't call it Twitters. The Twitters? Yeah, don't call it the Twitters. It's not the Twitters? Okay. Uh, follow me on RSS. Um, <laughs> AOL. Yeah, send me, send me a message at AOL.com. Uh, I think I still have a CompuServe account, and I'm not joking MySpace. about that one. I'm pretty, yeah. MySpace. Play games with me on Sega Network. That's a SNES. You can, you, you can call, right. but not while we're using the internet or the fax.